Do you sometimes feel frustrated by the standard search and filter possibilities in your picture park? Then I have good news for you. Creating your own advanced search queries will take your picture park search experience to another level. And that is exactly what you will learn in this video. Let's dive in. If you are using the search often in your picture park, you probably become very familiar with the AND and OR function. And you might have wondered what this third option advanced was doing. Advanced search is there to allow you to go beyond the standard search options and filters in Picture Park. I'll give a few examples. When you want to search on specific terms but exclude other terms. You are looking for apple but not fruit. When you are not sure of the spelling of your search term. Is it organization with a Z or organization with an S? Do you want to search on a specific date range? Show me all content that was updated from date X to date Y. Or do you want to find content where certain fields are blank? Show me all content where the copyright field is empty. When you want to find all content items which have no metadata yet applied. All this and more is possible with advanced search. Now I have to warn you, how this works is by adding search syntax, which may look like a code in the search bar. If you never worked with search syntax before, this might look daunting. But if you make the effort of going through this video and try it out yourself, you will see that it is less complicated than you initially thought. And I will show you a few tricks that will make it easy to reuse and adapt so you will learn to use this advanced search almost as fluently as the more standard search functionality in Picture Park. Let's start with searching for apples and pears. In the AND search option, I get 7 content items as a result. If I change to OR, I get 31 content items. Now, if I want images with apples alone, I need to go to the advanced search and type there AND apples not pairs, giving me exactly what I need. The AND is actually the default option, so I can actually remove that. So you have apples, not pears. This AND and NOT need to be in capital letters. And to not search for the word AND, you need to capitalize it. So picture part knows you want to use the operator and not the search for the conjunction. You can add up to 2000 characters here, so it's no problem to also add and granny if you only want granny smith apples. A third option is or. For instance, if I'm looking for apples or pears in an arrangement shot, I will type apples, or, pears, and arrangement. Let's see, I'm searching for William's pear. In the AND search, I get content that has Williams and Pears. In the OR search, I get content that has either William or Pear in the metadata. If I now only want content with an exact match for the complete term Williams Pear, I add quotation marks in the advanced search mode. There are also a number of wildcard characters that have interesting functionality. Adding a star at the end find matches that start with that term. For instance, straw star will also find strawberries. This is actually a default setting in the AND search. If you type there straw, you see that you get search result for straw with a star or straw as an exact term. Straw star will include terms like strawberries in uh, plural, strawberry in singular, or straws with an S in the results. With the wildcard question mark, you can replace letters when you are not sure about the spelling. If you search on organization, you get two results. Replacing the S with a question mark will also include content where organization is written with a Z. We see that there is one more content item appearing. When we look into this release form, we can find it with a search in the text. The title symbol allows you to do fuzzy searches. 
including terms that are close but not exactly the same as your search term. For instance, if you search on quick but you misspell it, you have no results. Adding the title quick title will include terms like quick. By default, the title allows for two character changes, but you can add a number to increase or decrease the number of changes allowed. So quick case title one will allow only one character to change. Nice. With these operators, you can really fine tune searches and you can combine them to your liking. For instance, do you understand what this search syntax looks for? Stewberry, title, not, wine, and, cock, question mark, tail. Let's do a quick recap. The and, or, and not operators can be used in combination with several search terms. You can use hyphens if you want an exact search on several terms together. You can use the star symbol to include, include further letter combinations on top of your search term. Replacing a letter with a question mark will make you find all possible letters and symbols in that position. And the title symbol makes it possible to fuzzy search or searches with two character changes. Good to know is that the URL contains all your search criteria. You can bookmark advanced searches you use often. So Picture Park will open with the search executed. For instance, bookmarking a search for newest items with correct copyright and legal approval will always give you the latest results. It's probably a smart idea to create a separate bookmark folder with all advanced searches combined. And you can easily adapt the search without having to remember it. Changing the search terms, for instance. Like in this case, I'm changing oranges instead of pears. To understand the two next advanced search features, I first have to explain the metadata structure in Picture Park and the path to each metadata field. When you go to the detail view of a content item, you can see the different metadata available, stored in fields which are grouped by layer. Notice that there are different types of fields. There is text, translated text, tag box, date time, and a few more which aren't shown here. The field naming will be different by field type. We start with text and date time fields. In the example here of strawberries arrangement, you see the layer basic information with the field creation date. The way how Picture Park identifies these fields is through its field path, which is the layer ID dot field ID. Notice that the first letter from both the layer and the field are small and the second term is with capital letters, but without spaces. This is called camel casing. So in our example, that is basic information dot creation date. A quick way for you to find the exact field name is to go to layers, select the layer where your, your field you want is stored. In the settings, you can find the layer ID, which you can copy. Uh, important to remember to change the first letter to lowercase. So basic information capital B becomes basic information small b. Then you can scroll down to fields, find the fields you want and copy the field ID, which is in between brackets. Creation date. If you bring both together with the dot as separator, you have the correct field name. Basic information dot creation date. Now that you have this field name, interesting advanced search options open up. The syntax, basic information creation date and this range will return all content with the creation date in that range. Pay close attention to the syntax. You have the field name followed by a double point, basic information dot creation date. That what you, then what you want to search for. In this field goes in between square brackets. The date needs to be in this format. Uh, four Y's, two M's, two D's for the days, and the operator two needs to be in capital letters. This search would be an excellent candidate to bookmark the URL so you can quickly get the right syntax and adapt the dates to your liking. Further options include 
from searching the last 30 days is with this syntax, searching the last year and now one year to now, or search between one and two years ago, as an example. You can also apply the same logic on system fields, where the field naming is universal. The audit creation date is the date the content was uploaded to Picture Park. And the audit modification date is the date the content was last updated in Picture Park. Now that you understand the text and date field naming, let's look at translated text fields. Let's take the example of the title field for the item Harvest Valley Farm Building. Let's go to the layer Basic Information to find out the field ID and build our field name. Basic information dot title. Different than with not translated text fields, you can add the two letter language code. Dot em if you want to only search in English and dot de if you want to only search in German. Let's see what happens if we search on a harvest. Now, that is strange because the title of the image is Harvest Valley Farm Building. Here we need to apply the right operator we tackled earlier in this video to steer the search results. Harvest Valley Farm Building within brackets will, between quotation marks, sorry, will indicate we are looking for an exact match with the complete term. If we add a star at the end of harvest, we get all the results where harvest is the beginning and then any other text following. If we do the search harvest star and building star, we return all content that contains harvest and building and any other text following. Try this out yourself a bit with your content and familiarize yourself with how to make it work for you. Advanced search will not give an error message, so it's sometimes trial and error to make it work. The last and most complex field naming to understand is that for text box fields. It consists of the layer ID, the text box ID and the list field ID. If we stay with our Harvest Valley farm building example and in detail view look at the field keywords, we see the tag wood is used. So how could we search for that? The layer ID is basic information. For the text box ID, I go to my layer, basic information, settings, fields, and there I can see the ID is keywords. The last element is the list field ID, which I can find if I click on the link next to tag box and open it. I scroll down to the fields and I can choose the field I want to use. In this case, it's the name, but be careful, this is a translated field, so I need to add the language code. If I bring it all together, I get basic information dot keywords dot name dot em. If I want to find content where wood is a keyword, I add wood star to it. If you have a filter on keywords, like we have here in the media library channel on tags, this probably won't bring you much. But if you combine this with the operators mentioned earlier, you get very handy search options. For instance, you can search on content where wood is not a keyword by adding the not operator. Or you can combine search terms where you say I want a content where nature is part of the keywords, but not wood. But what do you do when you want to search for content where a specific field is empty? Also, that is possible with this syntax. The syntax is does not exist layer ID, field ID, and layer schema ID, layer ID. As an example, this exist is the operator. Then we have the field part. Then we have layer schema IDs, which is something additionally you need to add to check if the layer is assigned, which is necessary for the syntax to work. And then you need to add the layer ID, which is in this case media information. Pay attention. In this case, we are speaking about the layer ID and there we keep the capital letter. So you see media information with capital letter. If we bring it all combined, it means does not exist media information copyright notice and 
layer schema IDs, media information. I recommend you bookmark such searches, so you have an easier time later on to reuse it and make small changes to the syntax where needed. This exist search is a very handy search if you want to do a validation of your metadata quality, especially at the start of using Picture Park with content migrated from another system or when you have taken over the administration of Picture Park and want to control the metadata quality. I'll give an example. I uploaded an image of blueberries with blueberries as title, but I forgot to tag blueberries in the product detail field which is why it will also not appear if I use the filter product blueberries. So I apply the advanced search syntax that show me all the content where the field product detail is empty. And I add and blueberries to the search to see if there is content where somewhere in the metadata the term blueberries is used. And yes, I find my uploaded image and others as well. So for all these images, there is blueberry in the metadata, but the field product blueberries is left empty. Now I can single or batch edit and add the blueberry tag to the product field if I think it's appropriate. Doing this exercise for all the options in your filters and adding the right metadata will greatly improve the search experience for your users. Continuing on this example, you can combine such searches with all the available operators and as such make very precise searches in your content and that up to 2000 characters of syntax. It's maybe not the easiest to understand, but it's very powerful if you master it. It's called advanced search for a reason. Okay, let's recap the most used field paths. A fi text field is the layer ID, remember with the first letter lowercase, combined with the dot and the field ID. The same goes for a date field where you can apply ranges. For a translated text field, you can add a language code at the end and search only in that language. For a text box field, you need the layer ID, the text box ID and the list field ID. And the last operator is the does not exist syntax, followed by the field pod, the AND operator, and the layer schema ID, where the layer ID keeps its first capital letter. So, we have come to the end of this training video, but not to the end of the learning process. It will take some practice to master this well. Don't forget that you bookmark each search for later use and adaptation. You can also find more information in the advanced search sheet sheet in our manual. You can also contact our support team at support at picturepark.com if you have specific advanced search questions. And of course, you can rewatch this video as often as you like. I hope you have enjoyed learning more about advanced search and have found many interesting usages for yourself. How you can use the AND, OR, NOT, STAR, QUESTION MARK and TIDLE OPERATOR to write yourself search queries. That you understood how a field path is constructed, with differences between the text, translated text, date and tag box field paths. And how to use these field paths in combination with the operators to search in a very precise way through all your content. Enjoy finding what you're looking for. Take care.